Um, we talk about a, a lot, Ismail and I, about um, the key thing in ministry was, is to say yes. It's, you, you just have to start somewhere. You have to go somewhere and begin with something. I get people, they talk to us all the time or talk to me as a pastor about, oh, I want to know what God's will in my life is. But they're not doing anything. And it's like this van that we're sitting in, you know, with Ismail driving. He can't actually steer the van if it's not moving. He can't change the direction it's headed. People want God to be able to change the direction in their life, but they don't want to actually do anything when they're doing it. So the saying yes is, look, God, I'm going to do something. I'm going to step out. I'm going to take that step. And I'm going to expect God to change and guide me to where he wants to be, me to be and where he wants me to go. And we go, well, is this really a biblical concept? It is. If you look in the book of Acts sometime, at the times that the apostles do something, only 25% of the time, even with the apostles, does God tell them, hey, go do this. The rest of the time, they just take his commandments and go, okay, we're going to take the next step. And as long as they're taking the next step, God directs that step and takes them where he wants them. 75% of the time, even the apostles don't have direct leading from God. They just know, hey, the commandment is, take the gospel. The commandment is, my word doesn't return void. And they start. You see it with Paul. Paul's trying to get to Phrygia and Pamphylia. And God's like, no. And he says, oh, I'm going to go to Ephesus. And God's like, yeah, no. And that's when he gets the Macedonian vision. But he was already doing something. He wasn't sitting at home in Jerusalem going, I wonder if God's going to lead me somewhere. He'd already said yes and taken that first step.